Hello, today we're gonna to be talking about alkaline batteries. They are a primary disposal battery. And although they're not as environmentally friendly as our nickel metal hydride and lithium ion rechargeable batteries, they do have some advantages in some cases, and we'll be going over some of those later in the video. If you find the video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. We post videos every week. First, we're going to be talking about some of the advantages for the alkaline batteries. And one of the advantages is the higher energy density compared to our nickel-based batteries. They also have a higher voltage. The alkaline batteries have a voltage of 1.5 volts, where the nickel-based batteries have a voltage of 1.2 volts. This is why some flashlights recommend using alkaline batteries, because it'll give you a brighter light initially, but it will drain the battery faster. And the other advantage is a longer shelf life. Alkaline batteries have a shelf life of around 10 years, and they also have a low self-discharge of around 2% each year. A few other advantages for the alkaline battery, they are safer than the sealed lead acid batteries and the lithium-based batteries. They have a much more reliable performance in a wider temperature range, and they are ready to use right after purchasing. So some of the disadvantages for the alkaline batteries, they are all, they're non-rechargeable, so you only get to use them once and have to dispose them afterwards. So they'll have a higher environmental impact because of that. They also drain, the voltage drains much faster in high current devices compared to the rechargeable batteries. And next we'll be getting into some of the situations where you should and shouldn't use alkaline batteries. Alkaline batteries have a very low self-discharge rate, so they're able to sit in low drain devices for long periods of time without needing replacement. So some of these devices include remote controls, um, wireless mouses, uh, smoke alarms, thermometers, low drain devices such as these will be ideal for alkaline batteries. Compared to the nickel-based rechargeable batteries, the voltage of the alkaline batteries isn't constant. So in higher drain devices, the voltage of the alkaline batteries are going to drain much faster, resulting in a shorter runtime in these devices. So for example, in higher drain devices such as flashlights and cameras, the batteries might only be able to last a few hours, where in low drain devices like remote controls, they could last up to years. This is a common characteristic for all alkaline batteries, and for higher drain devices, you would get a better value for using rechargeable batteries. One way to tell if you should be using rechargeable or non-rechargeable batteries is to see how often you're replacing your alkaline batteries. If you're replacing them, say, once every month or however often, it may be more cost-effective to switch over to rechargeable battery. Because alkaline batteries have a long shelf life, low self-discharge, and they're ready to use right out of the package, they're one of the most reliable sources of energy for backup and emergency power. So next, we'll get into some of the best practices for using alkaline And as we mentioned before, it's best to use alkaline batteries in low drain devices and to avoid using high drain devices with these batteries. This is just to maximize the amount of time that you can use these batteries for. Also, it's best to keep the batteries the same when you are inserting them into the device. So being sure not to use old and new batteries and rechargeable and non-rechargeable and different brands in the device at the same time. Doing this can result in the batteries to leak or to reduce the runtime of the device. And it's also a good idea to replace the batteries all at the same time and replacing them with new batteries that are the same type, brand, voltage, and size. A couple more tips is to keep the contact surfaces of the device clean and making sure you're inserting the battery the correct way according to the positive and negative signs on the device. You can maintain the life of the battery by turning off the device when you're not using it. And if you don't use the device as often, you can actually remove the battery from the device and this will preserve the life even longer. To, for the emergency and backup alkaline batteries, be sure to store them in a cool, dry place at room temperature. Be sure not to carry loose batteries along with you in your pocket or purse that have metal objects such as coins. And also never try to recharge alkaline batteries 
Both of these scenarios can result in leakage or rupture of the battery. Next, we'll get into some of the frequently asked questions. So our first question here, why don't alkaline batteries have a capacity rating? So the capacity of an alkaline battery isn't constant and it's mostly dependent on the load, the temperature, and the internal resistance. So the alkaline batteries are tested mostly based on the runtime of the battery. This is why in higher drain devices, the batteries won't last as long compared to the low drain devices. So our second question here, should I store alkaline batteries in a refrigerator or freezer? So it's not recommended or necessary to store your alkaline batteries in a refrigerator or freezer. Exposing the batteries to cold temperatures will actually decrease the amount of runtime and may damage the battery in the long term. So we recommend storing your batteries at room temperature around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So our next question here, how should I dispose of alkaline batteries? So it's best to check with your local or state solid waste authority to see whether or not you have to recycle them or not. In some states, the alkaline batteries can just be thrown in the trash when you're done, but in other states, they are considered a hazardous, hazardous material and you'll have to recycle them. If you're in the state of California, this is the case, you'll have to recycle them. And if you don't know where to go to recycle your alkaline batteries, check out the link in the description to find out. Our last question here, what causes alkaline batteries to leak? Alkaline batteries can leak if you try to charge them or if you mix and match them with different types or sizes of batteries. The um, over-discharge batteries can also leak if they're in high temperatures. If you do see a battery leak, try not to come into contact with it. And if you do happen to touch the leakage, be sure to wash that area of skin thoroughly with water. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions, please comment down below and we'll be there to answer them.